Hi there, it's Joseph here, Edge Dynamics, making a show video again. <clears throat> this beautiful day. And I guess I'm going to show you the razor. The razor, which I'm going to shave with, is uh, West Enton and Sons. But forget about the razor, check out these scales. Beautiful. It's got a, uh, that is a, it's got hair on it, it is a uh, wedge, it's not a spacer, you can see there, yeah, that's that side, but it's beautiful oxhorn, this is, and it's just stunning stuff, and this piece has got like a, a black, layer all the way around the edge it's really nice uh, it's got like a glass glassy feel it's not like a buffalo horn ox horn it's a lot stronger and it feels like glass and some of the uh, the layers of color within is uh, it's really nice stuff so and these are like extra extra long scales these are because the razor is big uh, it's lost some width, it's still got oil remnants on it. I'll show you, you see the maker's mark, but look at the tang on it. It's just ridiculous, it's got a fat tang and then a little, uh, little tail there. Uh, and I can't really, I had a little look uh, last night, something on the maker, West Denton, but I assumed it was Sheffield, but I can't find anything on it, so uh, I'll look a bit further. I looked in a few books and just Googled it, and possibly it could be American, is what I'm thinking. Maybe, probably made in Sheffield, but um, I don't know. I'll find out. And what else can I say about this? Um, yeah, it's got the solid uh, bullseye collars. Uh, larger at the bottom and it's actually extra large and large that's how big this thing is and stropping it as well it, <clears throat> I mean you get to about 40 strops and your hands hurting that's how heavy this thing is and the blade when I got the blade it was completely rusted uh, pit it was, like, I thought there was no hope for it really and what I did was I took it on um, I put it on the greaseless um, on the buffer and took out most of the pitting and just rounded it. It didn't look very good, so I just packed it away. And then fast forward a year or two years, and I put it on the grinder, gave it, put some lines back on it, and uh, here we are. So we try that, but as always, I'm dubious about the edge because um, I set the bevel and under the microscope, I could see that the edge was crumbling. Um, so I just kept working it, I had to go back and forwards to the DMT and back up and it looks like a stable edge, but we'll find out. And brush, I selected especially for today, is the horn handle and the high mountain plisson. And because it's a hot day, um, go for the Aqua de Palma, it's got a touch of menthol in it, and I've got the uh, Colonia as well. So I'll just wet my face, I just need this glass because I've got to knock it over. And it doesn't take much to lather the Aqua de Palma. Still say it's the best quality cream available. And I believe it's actually made by Pro Rasso, so that's a bit strange. I recently did go back to, like I dug out some of my old stuff, 
And I was like, ah, oh, Proresso, I remember that. And I tried to use it and it was a pretty bad guy. Could be an old stock or whatever, but. Let's see what this stuff does. Actually, the other day, I went deep into my stock of uh, soaps and stuff, went right to the back. And I pulled out some stuff, had a look at it. And I've got a tip for people out there, is screw the lids on tight on some of these products, especially, I mean, if you've got a hard puck, I think it'll last forever, but if you've got a soft cream and you haven't put the lid on 100% secure, you know, come back in a year and half of it's gone. That's my tip for the day. After this, I'm going to go out sun, get a suntan. I've been sunbathing every day, but it seems like the sun's not working properly. It's not working 100%. Because I should be near black by now, but I'm not. So. But I'm thirsty, I'm going to get myself a nice tall drink with ice. Sunbathe, I say that, and the clouds come over. I've been working on razors today. Um, doing quite a lot. I've got a new thing. Um, if you look on my website, in the razors for sale, I've got two new categories. I've got £65 razors and £100 razors. And within their selections, and they're numbered. And so I'm going to throw a load of razors in there because I've got a lot of razors that. It's going to do nothing unless I try and get rid of them. That's probably the most I've ever lathered this up. It's got really mild menthol to it. It's so mild I can hardly feel it. Right. Dry my fingers. It's had a full progression on the uh, Nakayama. If it's a big blade or something that I don't mess about, I go straight to the Nakayama. I go through all the uh, the whole range of um, Nagora stones. So let's find out. It's an extremely long blade. I mean, my strop comes like halfway. Say. So far, that's good. I mean, the weight of this blade, it just helps slide through the hair. And for some reason, I'm getting just here in my hand, the muscles starting to ache a bit. That's how heavy it is. doesn't feel sharp but it is sharp and that's what you want it's next door shane and his dog and she's dogs quiet and day and they stop barking or she this is really muscly dog like whip your arms and legs off no problem yeah 
this is good, I don't know what that is. Blood, that's what that is. I mean, I'm so relieved to see a good, a good, a stable edge under the microscope. I just cracked on with it. You know, maybe I should have took a bit more steel away. I guess the crumbling steel is from overheating, from uh, grinding. If you're grinding the bevel, which I was a lot, to get to make myself a nice even bevel all the way along, um, and that gets hot instantaneously. There's no getting away from that. Obviously, I'm dipping it in water, but. And uh, who knows what I did with the greaseless compounds. But I tend to stay away from the uh, greaseless and the buffer. Okay, so I'm not that impressed with that stuff. I mean, everything's got a purpose. and If you're clever, you, you would be able to use everything. But I love the grinder. Actually, today I was pinning um, ivory, and I just—I was in the zone. I was in the pinning zone. Just tap, tap, tap. It's a really good edge. The only trouble is, is it's a bit awkward because it's so heavy. But I, need, I need a bit of a rest from that. It's like, whew. Right, rinse off. I'm going to go with aqua. Glad I chose this actually. Because I wanted to go with something else, but. It's actually my second, second time of this stuff. This one was a gift from my girlfriend. Or, you know, it's I keep demoting her from fiance to girlfriend, but my fiance brought me this. Right. Let's see if I got the strength to get a second pass. Also a problem, a slight problem with this is um you can see it hones up into the heel just around that little corner there so for that reason i can't sell it so i may i'm just gonna have to keep it real bad luck isn't it i could take it apart and i will take it apart actually because it's just more practice on the grinder but it's quite quite a tricky operation because uh, the heel's so small there. Yeah, this is really nice. I think I underestimated it. It's got to be. Um, I say it's got to be Sheffield still. It has to be. I don't know, there's no one else makes this sort of thing anyway, so. But I found a few on Google. Um, but there's pre-restoration and they were all big. So I think this was probably an 8.8 once or bigger actually. Less quality, I can feel it. Oh, it's getting awkward. Yeah, I've got 
tiniest drop of blood there. But I'm really pleased with this. I mean, as soon as it, I've gone to a lot of trouble um, creating a bevel, honing it, stropping it, as soon as it passes that HHT, it's like the biggest relief. somewhere, but I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's strange. Okay. So, it's going back on the grinder anyway, so. That's not too bad. That's really good. Just have a rinse. Feel obligated to wipe uh, some of the soap and scum off this without cutting my hand. Very nice, beautiful. Right. Got no sting in. Oh. I'm not sure how many days growth I had. Probably a week or so. And uh, the uh, Colonia Aquadipama. I don't know, you see how much has gone of that. I don't know where it's gone. It's probably came that full. I only use this a few times. And uh, it has grown on me, this stuff. I don't normally go for this sort of thing. It's milky. Right, that's me really good. Uh, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.